my friends. It's Jill Osborne from the Interstitial Cystitis Network. I wanted to take a moment and share the story of a patient that I was working with a couple of days ago. This was a young woman who had had pretty severe urinary symptoms for a couple of years. She had frequency, urgency, pressure, and of course pain. But she was very confused because her cultures were negative. Whenever they tested her urine, they found nothing. When they looked in her bladder, she had a perfectly normal bladder wall. There was no sign of bladder disease. But what they did find was that she had very, very tight pelvic floor muscles. But she was very confused. Her physician said, yes, let's do some pelvic floor physical therapy. But she wanted antibiotics. She believed that she had a UTI despite all of the negative urine cultures. So she asked me what, what my thoughts were. And I said, well, I think we need to follow the data. The data shows that you have normal urine. The data shows that you have a normal bladder wall. And the also data shows that you've got very tight muscles. So maybe that's a direction you need to consider first. But she vehemently disagreed with me. She said, Jill, listen, I'm urinating every 15 minutes. How can this possibly not be a UTI? I believe that they have missed a rare and unusual bladder infection. Now, I really understand that because in my first year with IC, I too thought I had infection. I can't tell you the number of times I had urine cultures. They all came back negative. And in the end for me, we finally learned what my problem was, which was tight pelvic floor muscles, but she wasn't quite ready to go there. So what I said to her is I said, you know what, maybe we just need to prove it. How can we prove if you have an infection once and for all? with a next generation DNA urine test. Now the advantage of this type of test is it will identify everything, good bacteria, bad bacteria, and most importantly, fungus. In contrast, a urine culture is quite self-limiting because it will only grow out the bacteria that eat the culture medium that they provide. And there is absolutely no doubt that next generation testing has saved lives. It's quite popular among infectious disease specialists. So what I said to her is, listen, if your next gen test comes back positive, then you've got the proof that you need to share with your doctor to prove that you have a rare infection and antibiotics are the right course of treatment. And of course, an advantage of next generation testing is it will give the, the correct antibiotic resistance genes as well as several treatment suggestions. But I also said to her, now listen, if it comes back negative, then I think you're gonna have to put the UTI theory to rest and consider perhaps instead the role of your muscles in causing these symptoms. Now I've had next generation DNA urine testing twice. The first time I had it done, I just wanted to see how it was done. So I ordered a test from Microgen. They sent me the test kit. They gave instructions on how to collect urine. And in the end, it was a little, little tiny bit of urine that, I end, that you end up sending back to the company. And within a couple of days, I got my PCR testing. That's where they test for the 20 to 30 common pathogens. And then a couple of days later, you get the full results the, that will show the good bacteria, the bad bacteria, most importantly, fungal infections. Why? Because we've now identified that some patients actually have a fungal infection rather than a bacterial infection in their bladder. And of course, urine cultures don't test for fungus. Now, the second time I had it done was far more interesting because I had had a hysterectomy. And after my surgery, I developed a very cloudy urine for several weeks. Now, I wasn't having urinary symptoms, but my urine just didn't look normal. And I wondered if I had picked up an infection in the hospital. So again, I ordered a next generation test and the results were fascinating because it found that I had a very small infection of E. coli, just 3%. And because I was asymptomatic, I wasn't feeling any bladder symptoms at that point in time, I made the decision not to treat that with antibiotics because I didn't want to disrupt my urinary biome. But if that had come back with a stronger infection, 95% E. coli or enterococcus or another pathogen, and if I was also struggling with urinary symptoms, I certainly would have made a very different decision and would have considered the use of antibiotics. Next generation testing is quite new. That's challenging. There are some doctors who love it 
especially infectious disease doctors. There's no doubt that next generation testing has found infections that urinary cultures have not been able to identify. And there's no doubt, in my opinion, that it has saved lives. But because it's new, there are some doctors who don't care for it. They haven't been taught how to interpret the results, or maybe a health insurance company has, will not pay for it. And that does become a bit of an obstacle. The great news is on the Microgen website, there are now some really good educational videos for doctors to help them learn how to interpret this more detailed urine test results. Now listen, in the end, I like data, I like facts. If I am in pain, I want somebody to look at it, I want somebody to study it, and I want somebody to test for it to see if there's anything funky going on. Now, I'm a fan of next generation DNA urine testing. I think it has an important role to play for patients who struggle with lower urinary tract symptoms. And especially for those IC patients who are not responding to typical bladder therapies, our AUA guidelines say, take a step back and revisit the diagnosis. What could we have missed? And if you absolutely believe that you could have an infection, a next generation DNA urine test will answer that question for you once and for all. Now, if you like these videos, make sure you subscribe to our video channel here on YouTube. And then come on over to the IC Network and sign up for our free newsletter. I really think you'll find that it will add tremendous value. We offer a lot of latest research, good self-help stories, good diet suggestions, lots of stuff like that. We love doing our newsletter. We love doing our patient magazine. So I hope that this helped and I truly wish you well.